Disclaimer. While every reasonable care has been taken to ensure the data and related graphics published is accurate, no warranty is given that the information is free from error or omission. Any reliance placed on such information shall be at the sole risk of the user. Recent reports showed Singapore property market, especially the luxury segment, is still the investment vehicle of the rising rich and wealthy in Singapore despite the additional buyer stamp duty. Singaporean, Singapore PR, and also foreigners are seeking opportunities in Singapore real estate. The data shows that 25% of high-end buyers are foreigners despite double cooling measures introduced last year 2023 which is defined as 5 million Singapore dollars and above. So for every four units of 5 million Singapore dollars above property, one unit is snatched up by foreigner. The reason for such confidence is because when dread property news are all over other countries, savvy investors possible select Singapore and anchored into Singapore property market. We think many of the investors use Singapore as a base camp. They set up their business here, and they use Singapore as a base to springboard to other countries in Asia-Pacific region. The next thing that is the anticipation of rate cuts. Many of the home buyers have held back purchases due to increase in interest rates which is pretty significant. The implication are in Singapore mortgage rates which in our view will start to adjust downwards when the Fed rates cut action set. Many of the analysts are saying that the cut is more likely to be in second half 2024. Actual market consensus. So it is pertinent for real estate practitioners, investors, and homeowners to watch what the Fed is likely to do. This is true for medium terms because Singapore banks take the cue from Fed. So when the Fed starts to cut rates, you can expect mortgage rates will perhaps come down. 2024 projected Fed rates to be 4.5 to 4.75%, which means a downwards trend. So rates cut is good news for Singapore property market. Interest is transaction cost, which is the cost of maintaining your property. We foresee a big rush from those who wants to enter the property market once interest rate is down, which is the rebound effect. One option of not waiting for interest rate to fall is to consider buying new projects. For example, when you book a new project, the interest rate doesn't affect you because of progress payment point two zero two four property price has been stable. The question now is 2024 we know that interest rates expected to decrease ABD real estate demand is expected to rebound if you are waiting for that day when interest rate is declared lower. Mortgage rate declared lower. Do you think that the seller will also increase price? Definitely, every seller will increase price once interest rate drops. So assume a 2 million Singapore dollar properties with a loan of 1.5 million Singapore dollars, which is 75% LTV. Homeowners will definitely see a lower monthly mortgage payment. The current fixed rate is approximately 3.2% per annum. So eventually, if Fed rates were to bring down, the mortgage rate will come down. So if it comes down to 2.7% per annum, the installment will reduce from $7,003 to $6,009, which is significant saving. There is advantage in progressive payment, which is a deferred payment scheme. Banks will charge you interest over the amount of loan dispersed. So the disbursements of loan is on a progressive basis. This is strategy that most savvy investors are doing. They invest in new home and wait for 36 months, which is the holding period of seller stamp duty. When the 36 months period are up, you have a choice to take profit by selling the new development. Homeowner will want to sell higher price when interest rate is lower and when there is higher demand as paper profit. And three years later, you could be near temporary occupation permit. So there is an exit strategy. New home prices is directly related to government land sales. Developers are still buying from GLS, and as a matter of fact, new home price will trend higher with the current bid prices. New home transaction is in the rebound. Projection this year new home transaction is about 13 to 14,000 units up from 2023 11,000 unit dot. Price growth this year about 4 to 6% versus about 7% last year. That's all for today's video. Leave us your comments if you have any questions.